for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.getmec.com before going to discuss how we have to find determinants of higher order matrices we shall see now some important definitions here two things particularly one is minor one is cofactor so this minor <coughs> the minor is usually defined for square matrices only elements of square matrices okay we shall see one example for example say suppose this is my matrix 1 2 1 2 minus 1 2 3 2 1 so suppose this is my matrix so minor is defined for elements of a square matrix this is a square matrix of size 3 by 3 so now minor can be defined for each of the element of this matrix for example minor of the matrix for example minor of the matrix is suppose the first element of this matrix one at position 1 1 1 we will find now okay what is the minor of this matrix minor is usually it is also called the first minor or principal minor we shall not dwell into much details into it as of at this point of time this itself will be sufficient enough for us so the first minor or minor simply minor we can call it as minor of element one would be the determinant of the determinant of the remainder matrix when you hide when you don't consider when you hide the column or the row to which it belongs to so for example for one it belongs to the row it belongs to the first row and first column so if you leave out that first row and first column the remaining matrix whatever sub matrix it is called the remaining sub matrix determinant of the remaining sub matrix is called the minor of one here i shall write minor of one this is at position one one i'll write it here okay minor of one is you have to exclude the row and the column to which it belongs it belongs to the row one and row column so the remaining part the remaining sub matrix this sub determinant of the sub matrix is called the minor of one so now the minor of one will be determinant of minus 1 2 2 and 1 we know what is the determinant of a b c d a d minus b c so minus 1 into 1 minus 2 into 2 this would be minus 1 minus 4 by total is minus 5 similarly for example i'll just 2 3 will write here this is a uh, one two uh, two one say suppose okay now now minor of say suppose two we will find out minor of element two at position one two this is at position one two now what we have to exclude the row and the column to which it belongs to what is the row and the what is the column it belongs to it belongs to the first row and the first column okay now minor of 2 is equal to if you exclude these two this row and the column the remaining thing is 2 2 3 1 2 2 3 1 you can see here 2 2 3 1 the determinant of this remaining matrix is called the minor of the corresponding element now it is 2 into 1 minus 2 into 3 2 minus 6 it is minus 4 i am writing it directly okay similarly say suppose we will consider minor of now we calculate minor of this particular element here i mean uh, say uh, this minus 1 okay now we shall see we have to now exclude the row and the corresponding column it belongs to it belongs to the second row and belongs to second column so the remaining elements are i am writing it here minor of minus one 
minor of minus 1 at position 2 2 minor of element minus 1 at position 2 2 so you have to exclude this row and this column if you hide these two the remaining elements are 1 1 3 1 so that is 1 1 3 1 so the determinant of this would be 1 into 1 minus 3 into 1 1 minus 3 it is minus 2 okay so this is how you have to find out minor similarly for example minor of 1 at 1 3 would be you have to hide these two this row and this column the remaining is 2 minus 1 3 2 the determinant will be 2 into 2 minus 3 into minus 1 so 4 plus 3 it is 7 similarly for each element you have to calculate this is how minors can be calculated okay sometimes they may remember they may refer it as principal minor or uh, principal minor or first minor like that but no need to uh, as of now we can go with just minor okay there is something also one more thing as i said cofactor cofactor of element say suppose uh, say suppose a is the matrix and it contains a is a other elements this is the representation only okay so minor of a is a is how i have defined it what is the definition of minor of element a ij shall be equal to the determinant of rather i would write it here i would write it here determinant of the determinant of <coughs> the matrix formed by removing the corresponding row what is the row ith row and jth column of a removing ith row and jth column of a this is how minor has to be defined now minor you know a is a minor of element a is a shall be equal to determinant of the matrix rather we can call it as a sub matrix when you hide some rows and some columns the correspondingly formed matrix is called sub matrix of the given matrix so it is better to call sub matrix so the minor of a is element a is, is equal to determinant of the sub matrix formed by removing ith row and jth column it is nothing but the corresponding row and column to which it belongs to that is called the minor now cofactor is defined like this cofactor is equal to Say uh, completely like right. Cofactor of element A is A. Okay. Cofactor of element A is A is equal to minus 1 power i plus j. Minus 1 power i plus j into minor of A is A. Into minor of element A is A. Understood? Cofactor is defined as cofactor of element a i j is equal to minus 1 power i plus j into minor of a i j in this case for example what is the cofactor of 1 minor of 1 at position 1 1 is minus 5 so cofactor of 1 will be what cofactor of 1 at position 1 1 it is so 1 will be minus 1 power 1 plus 1 1 1 position so 1 plus 1 into minor is minus 5 so what is minus 1 power 1 plus 1 is minus 1 whole square means minus 1 into minus 1 is nothing but plus 1 plus 1 into minus 5 is minus 5 okay similarly similarly what is cofactor of this 2 here i will just write here cofactor of 2 that shall be equal to minus 1 power what is its position 1 2 so 1 plus 2 into minor of that what is the minor value minus 4 so what is the value minus 1 power 1 plus 2 is nothing but minus 1 whole cube this is nothing but minus 1 into minus 4 otherwise simply I'll write minus 1 cube into minus 4 minus 1 cube is nothing but minus 1 again into minus 4 is plus 4 so minus 1 into minus 4 is plus 4 similarly 
what is the cofactor of minus 1 at position 2 to here? Cofactor of minus 1 at position 2 to is equal to minus 1 power. What is the position? 2 to. So, minus 1 power 2 plus 2 into the minor is minus 2. This is minus 1 power 4. How minus 1 power odd is always minus 1, even is always plus 1. So, this is plus 1 into minus 2, this is minus 2. So, how minor and cofactor has to be formed? Minor has to be found by deleting the of an element. Minor of an element is found by deleting the corresponding row and column from the matrix and finding the determinant of the submatrix. Cofactor is minus 1 power i plus j into minor of that corresponding element. These two would give us the minor and cofactor. These two are useful in finding out the determinant of matrices. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getnet.com.